All right, number one. This might test your patience a little bit, starting with the 60 and doing some quarter notes, but again, the idea is to get you better at starting and stopping. So here we go. <clears throat> number one. Double time. And then let's do one sixty. Started going to the wrong note near the end there. Let's do that again. All right, uh, and one more. Let's do 200. <clears throat> This one, I do want you to do a metronome with, even though it's a chord thing. The reason why is because you'll be taking advantage of that quarter note gap to get to the next chord. I do want you to do metronome with this one. So get you more efficient with changing chords like this. So here we go. So as soon as that last note is hit, move over. And of course, I what I was just about to say is make sure your thumb is back here far enough, and then mine's sitting up here. Mine can. So there you go. Um, yeah, just watch watch your thumb and move your hand like. I have wrist problems, so if I don't position my wrist in a particular way, I get excess strain back here, and that's why I wear the brace, because sometimes it gets exacerbated through activities and whatnot, and then it starts to hurt, and I don't like it. <clears throat> I no, can no longer do a push-up like that anymore. I can do knuckle, or knuckle push-ups, yeah, but I can't do regular ones. It, there's, it's too much damn pain back here now. Damn it. All right, here it is at 120. So you start getting more used to just shifting the hand over kind of in, in those shapes. That sounds very familiar. I can't. I can't remember what era that's from. I want to say the 90s. I don't know. Anyway, number three. 
<clears throat> Three notes per click. The last note you hold out for a full click. Here we go. Double time. And double that because it is your ultimate goal with the eighth note triplets. I made a mistake. Take two. Okay, number four, right, that's just going down and back up. Hopefully that scale pattern is familiar. Because it is the top portion of Dorian shape that you learned. Here we go. We actually happen to stop on the root note for the Dorian mode. Just a couple of octaves higher. <clears throat> All right, 120. And double that, your goal speed. I don't know why I stopped there. I'm gonna do that again and better. Now you might notice when you start getting up to like that kind of pace there, your forearm is gonna do that rotation type stuff that we talked about before. See if you can watch my arm and catch when it does that little rotation stuff. do it at 200 see if I do it there I don't always do it it just depends on the speed let's see if I can figure out where I do it slower like I'll probably do it so that would be a downstroke here Probably do it going from the D string back to the G string. scale stuff like that in a bit but like times you might do it since I got you doing more of an upper slant too you might feel like you, uh, you're wanting to do it going from the B string down to the G D string going up to the G B string going to the E and you might feel it. Just something neat to be aware of. So your forearm might start doing a little rotation thing to uh, miss the strings as you're uh, changing them and not smacking things that you don't want to hit. He looks like he's about to cause some trouble. He's looking at the other cat. All right, um, I think that covers everything. So, if you got questions, 
let me know. I'll see you next week.